Bitcoin opens up the imagination and possibilities of a global digital currency. The blockchain technology that comes with Bitcoin has put our society in an incredible time. Huobi is actively involved in this wave of rising digital assets in 2013, helping to enlighten Chinese people in digital currency investment. Huobi has made a brilliant achievement in taking the highest market share and received the highest trading volume in China. At present, Huobi Group is opening a global integrated digital asset transaction services with a strong focus on customer service. Huobi Group has set up operations and service centers in Singapore, Hong Kong, Seoul, Tokyo, Beijing, and Shenzhen. With our new base in the beautiful Singapore, Huobi Group will bring quality educational and service experiences to millions of users of digital assets in 130 countries and regions. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Hobie Talk. I hope everyone is having an amazing weekend. I'm Nikita Sachdev. You can call me Nikki, and I'm your host for the program tonight. We're streaming live from the leading global financial center in Singapore, Asia, where the Hobie Pro headquarters is based. Hobie Talk is a number one talk show that gives you insights into the world of blockchain, delivering to you global developments in blockchain, bringing you data-driven, content-rich information with the stories behind the technology. Join us as we dive deep into conversations surrounding blockchain and the endless possibilities of the future of cryptocurrency. Today we are bringing you the news on the latest trends in cryptocurrency. As we're streaming live, we want to make this interactive. So as we move along, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them, share them in the comment section. I'll be reading them as we go along and we'll definitely pick a few to answer later. Today we have the team from Yuan Chain and Neuromation here with us. You guys will be happy to know that we will have a special airdrop giveaway of a total of 300,000 YCC and 5,000 NTK tokens tonight. Aren't you guys excited for that? Now here's a special giveaway segment. Simply screenshot this live stream, tweet it and tag at Hobie Pro. Yuan Chain and Yurmation IO with your remarks. For example, you can share what you've learned through the live stream or share any feedback you have. To qualify for the airdrop bonus, comment here with your UID space Twitter post URL. The top 20 most retweeted posts by the next day, 12 noon, will share 5,000 NTK tokens and up to 3,000, sorry, 300,000 YCC tokens. Now that is a lot of tokens. Here is more details. As you can see, the airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed on Tahadax for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. Share it now and be amongst the f first few selected individuals to win. Let's move straight about Hadax. Since the announcements of Hobie Autonomous Digital Asset Exchange, HADAX, on February 3rd, we saw hundreds of token projects supported by over thousands of users. As of February 24th, 6 p.m., 75 projects received over 85,600 votes, sorry, 85,600,000 votes from 105,000 real wor world users worth over 8.5 million Hobi tokens. Today, the price of Hobi tokens is going at 2.25 USDT. This is an impressive growth and reflects the voting popularity in the entire community. Now, here's a little disclaimer. In total, we have 75 tokens listed on voting for HADX <clears throat> at the moment for phase one. However, because of the time constraints, we are not able to interview all of them on the Hobie Talk Show. But just because the tokens are not part of the show does not mean that they are no good. We just haven't had the time to cover all of them. These tokens may still get listed onto HADAX eventually. So that being said, we welcome more token project projects to come join us at the Hobie Talk Show to share more about their project and the blockchain technology utilization. Now about the last episode. Last episode that we had yesterday, we were honored to have IOTEX and Promotion Chain on our show. 
where IOTX's co-founders Rowland and Jingson talked about their exciting project IOTX, which combines the power of Internet of Things and blockchain. We then spoke to Wang Ye from Promotion Chain on how they will use blockchain technology to revolutionize the promotion industry. Together with the team, we announced an airdrop of 6.66 million PC tokens and 500,000 IOTX tokens. So don't worry if you missed out on the last episode of Hobie Talk. You can view it in your convenience by accessing Hobie YouTube channel. Also, don't miss out on our future episodes. Click subscribe on the bottom right side of the page to subscribe to Hobie Pro on YouTube now. All right, so on this episode of Hobie Talk, we are pleased to have Jackie from Yuan Chain here with us. And wow, Yuan Chain is currently leading the pack for a Hadax voting, ranking at top two right now. That's pretty impressive. So Jackie heads the international operations for Yuan Chain and has keen interests in the blockchain industry, having several years of experience trading cryptocurrencies. Today, Jackie will share with us more about Yuan Chain and how their technology helps companies to save funding costs and grow their business. Director, please kindly connect us to Jackie now. Okay, hello, Jackie. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Hi everyone. How are you? Very warm welcome and thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thanks. So uh, please introduce yourself and tell us what sparked your interest in the blockchain industry. Uh, sure. Um, my name is Jackie. I'm now uh, running the international operation for Yuan Qian. Um, I've been involved uh, in the crypto space for several years. So that means I've been always a huge fan for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Um, but the, but, the, uh, but what, what interests me the most is not really uh, the Bitcoin, the, the, the cryptocurrency, but it should be um, the uh, underlying technology behind the crypto world, that is the blockchain technology. Because currently, um, uh, the uh, best example of uh, uh, blockchain technology is crypto currencies and uh, and I thought that uh, uh, blockchain technology can potentially do more than just uh, Bitcoin and those uh, many uh, cryptocurrency. So I've been trying to uh, to uh, get into the blockchain world and to know more about the things. Uh, so luckily, la uh, earlier last year, I had a chance to talk to the Yuan Chen team and then discover their uh, you know their ideas and the story behind their project, and it was really amazing. So um, Yuan Cheng has already uh, uh, four years experience uh, in terms of researching and developing blockchain. Um, so that's since uh, 2013. And then in 2015, so two years ago, they, they have already um, been doing a lot of uh, practical application using uh, blockchain technology and has been cooperated with uh, eight uh, Fortune 500 uh, companies and it has helped them with the uh, blockchain technology uh, projects and uh, so that's to me is pretty impressive because uh, you know uh, many um, ongoing projects in the blockchain world um, the because the, the best example is is uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is and I see little projects uh, you know being really landed so um, I was very impressive. Uh, I was very impressed. So I immediately joined their community and trying to help them to promote Yuan Qian. And uh, also, I wanted to uh, to uh, to let everybody know more about Yuan Qian. That's great. You know, I mean, uh, I totally understand what you mean about uh, that there's so much more uh, in blockchain than just cryptocurrencies. I myself only learned about uh, 
uh, I learned about cryptocurrencies before I learned about blockchain. Um, and the technology has been around for longer and there is so much more use to blockchain technology. So I understand that your project is largely based on optimizing the supply chain uh, management for businesses using blockchain. Uh, can you share with us more on this? Yeah, absolutely. I think the best uh, place to start with, uh, with, with, with your question is that the problem we are trying to solve. So right now we are seeing uh, the supply chain, the finance, the, the, or the, just the supply chain in general is broken. It's broken because uh, so many uh, s small companies, small and uh, medium enterprises uh, around the core business are having difficulties in terms of financing their business. So traditionally, uh, the, if the small business they want to um, finance their next round of business, their next round of business, they have to go to the bank and, and uh, make loans. And usually, um, this is uh, not feasible because banks uh, are reluctant to make the, the loans to the small business because the small business they are lack of um, credibility. So, um, so we uh, so we find a way to. To, to solve these problems, um, that is the blockchain. Because blockchain itself is uh, decentralized and it, it has the nature of recording and uh, storing all the details, information, data, transaction onto it. And once this information get recorded and stored, they are not able to be um, tampered with or removed from. So, so in this manner, uh, the small business, they are able to prove uh, all the ongoing or past business that they have done. And so to prove their real business and they have the ability to repair their debts. And that's really great. So, you know, small uh, SMEs can, you know, be more credible and have a way to uh, look more credible when they want loans uh, from banks. Uh, but what about if they're completely new and they don't have any uh, data to support uh, to support them? Um, so, 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 right, so right now we are considering uh, a small business with ongoing business. So meaning that they already have a you know a valid a trans uh, and contract and uh, receivables and receipts. And those things. So when we record those things on, onto blockchain, all the other nodes, all the other small business and co-business, big companies, they, they will already see these details on the blockchain network. So they are able to know that you are a valid and real business going on. So for the start, start, uh, for the startups, we are definitely want to help them. But right now, we are just uh, trying to figure a way, figure a, a way to, to, to solve this issue because if you are starting up, you don't have so many business details. So from our perspective, it's kind of difficult to validate their business. Right. Uh, so I just want to also take this time to remind the audience that uh, I can see the comments coming up. So if any time uh, I see any questions from the audience that they have for, uh, for you know, uh, uh, Yuan Chain, yeah. then I'll be happy to answer uh, from the audience as well. Uh, so now let's move straight to giveaway number one, because this is what you guys have been waiting for. It's time for our first Q&A session for the airdrop. We will be distributing a total of 300,000 YCC. So the first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop together with the other award segments. The airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed onto Hadex for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. All right, I think we are ready for question number one. Jackie, let's see what you have for the audience. Okay, so for question number one, I'll be asking uh, the following. Is it true that Yuan Chen team has participated uh, in some of the Fortune 500 companies projects? So it's a yes or no question, basically. Okay, I see answers coming in from our audience already. Has Yuan Chain participated in Fortune 500 companies? Okay, and the answers are yes, 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 yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it's a big yes. Okay, keep it going, you guys. That's great. Okay, so there's a lot of audience interaction here tonight. 
Uh, Jackie, can you tell us why Yuan Chain decided to set up its own chain for this project instead of using existing public chains such as Ethereum, Arc, and Neo? Yeah, definitely, um, because we have uh, our uh, own advantages. So uh, for 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 for. Uh, for this question, it will be better to uh, bring on the, the slides because I prepared for the, uh, the PPT. So let's go through the PPT and uh, we will know what's going on with, with, with Yuan Chen. Um, so please uh, have uh, the first slide for us. All right, the first slide is on. So, um, so basic, the first slide is basically the technical part of, of Yuan Chen. So I'll be just saying some few details and and try to avoid too much uh, difficulties. So um, so Yuan Chen is a self-developed public chain, and uh, it also has a lot of uh, private chains, permission chains to be connected, interacted with a public chain. Because ultimately, we want to realize uh, the interconnection and the value ex value exchange between the public chain and the so many other permission chains. And it's also compatible with other different uh, platforms such as uh, Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin. And the four uh, key features uh, of Yuan Chen uh, in the blue cells that, that we can see is the first one is it's stable. So that's basically what every project wants to uh, to have uh, for their um, blockchain. And then the second one is sufficient performance. So um, right, what the reason I'm saying sufficient uh, instead of advanced, because right now we are in our testing beta, we uh, can have uh, we we can run about 500 transaction deals on the block uh, on our blockchain. So that amount is sufficient to 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 uh, in a cooperate level. Um, so later on, we will be uh, uh, having more uh, more advanced uh, technologies. So it can be uh, up to 2,000 and even 10,000 ultimately. And then the third one is it's easy to use. The public chain that we have is easy to use because we consider that those small business, um, they are not so, uh, they don't have so many research and the development in terms of blockchain. So we want to make it friendly, uh, user friendly. And the last one and also the most important one is commercial applications. Like I said, um, Yuan, Yuan Chen has already uh, cooperated with eight uh, Fortune 500 companies, so and and a lot of success has been done in the past, and then the four fundamentals are of our uh, platform system, proto module, and un underlying technology. I will not go through with this, so can you please uh, go to the the next slide? Uh, before we move on, Jackie, uh, yes. you mentioned some something about uh, the platform being self running. Can you repeat uh, being that? Self, um, being self-running, um, it's self-developed. Sorry, yes, self-developed. Yeah. Can you please explain that further? Well, because, you know, the reason that we wanted to self-develop this uh, uh, public chain is because we have, uh, 100, we have over 100 excellent uh, staff and uh, in which 70% of them are technician guys. So, um, so the reason we uh, uh, the, the, so so the primary reason that we can do this is because we have enough talented uh, IT guys, and then the second one is because we are supposed to uh, invite invite and allocate uh, uh, ten to ten to a hundred thousand SMEs to our public chain to run their business, to run their, you know, all the information data. So we must have a re reliable and stable public chain. That's also the reason we are not using Ethereum on uh, all other platforms. So we want to build our own. I see. All right, well, let's move on to the next slide. All right, sure. So um, the second slide is basically a little bit, uh, uh, you know, it's just brief uh, idea behind the project because in ancient China, before paper money was created and people use, uh, uh, you know, these heavy metals to, 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 uh, to do trading, to purchase goods and services. So, um, and then uh, uh, some, um, after, that, after that, the paper money was created uh, to, to uh, backed by government and authorities. 
And now we thought that, um, you know, why not go back to the old times, uh, you know, because assets, heavy metals and these things, they can be running on blockchain uh, fluently since the creation of blockchain. So that's kind of the idea behind that. Okay, please go to the next slide. That's actually, that's a really good idea. I mean, come to think about it, it's almost as if we've taken a step back in time where we've gone from yes. assets to using paper, which is, uh, you know, uh, almost like a, a loan, uh, to then yeah. going back to using assets. So, yeah, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yes, absolutely. When, you know, when you think about paper money, it has inflations. Forever, I mean, it will be always inflation, and with asset being exchanged uh, with each other, there will be no inflation. Exactly. Well, let's move on to the next slide. Yeah, next slide. Uh, the next two slides actually uh, the assets that we are trying to to bring onto our blockchain and also the industries. So first, let's let's look at the assets that can be uh, brought to uh, Yuan Chen blockchain. Um, so, yeah, basically um, the heavy metals such as gold and copper and also big items such as house and automobiles, uh, these, these assets all can be tokenized and then be running on the Yuan Chen blockchain, which is pretty impressive to me. Um, let's go to the next one. Um, so the next one is basically the industries that we have been, um, been cooperating and being and dived into. So basically, um, so uh, as I already mentioned, we have uh, eight uh, Fortune 500 companies running on, on our permission chains. So some of them are, for example, uh, air conditioners, and some of them are mobile phones. Yeah. So this is just basic uh, uh, introduction of uh, the industry that we are, you know, getting. We are reaching out to. Um, so let's go to the next one, please. So the next one, uh, the, so this slide is basically about the supply chain um, because uh, if you see here uh, in the middle part, there's manufacturer, that's the 500, uh, Fortune 500 companies that I was talking about. So these are the core business and all the uh, suppliers and the logistics uh, retailers and distributors, they are representing the small and business. Sorry, that uh, sorry to disturb yes. you, Jackie. Let's go one slide yeah. back. Sure. Looks like we're looking at the wrong slide here. Okay. Okay, so now we're looking at the recycle of debt note. Recycle of, that's actually slide number six. Yeah, so can you please explain uh, this uh, slide to us? So the recycle of that note, yeah, sure. That's just the example of uh, the uh, the uh, e just one example of the supply chain finance. So in the traditional sense, uh, usually it's the money that's that's running in between the uh, business, right? So if you look at the coal company on the top of it, and then uh, the uh, coal company has business relationship with uh, you know class one supplier class two class three suppliers and investors and consumers and distributors. So in the traditional sense, there's money running, running, uh, you know, in the, in the circles. But there's one notable um, problem within this, this circle is because the suppliers, uh, they are not able to finance their business in, um, effectively and uh, quickly. So, uh, so, you, so, so usually when they deliver goods and service to the coal company, they will usually get the money after, let's say, three or six months. So I think this is not really good and effective uh, for the, uh, for the uh, uh, business going along. So we are trying to uh, have the coal company issuing the debt note to the suppliers, and then the suppliers can use uh, this debt note, uh, Death note to prove that they have business with the coal company, and then having that, uh, having said that, uh, so all the uh, players in the in the in the circles can know. Okay, this is the real business we're talking about. Um, so let's just uh, be cooperative, and then you know make the payments and make the make the salaries to the consumers, and so the consumers can 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 really pay the goods uh, pay the goods. <clears throat> 
pay the goods with the dead notes. So this is kind of the, the, the cycle, the recycle of dead notes. It will be faster than the traditional sense. Right. Let's move on to the yeah. next slide. Okay, now there's so, a lot of uh, Mandarin here and a lot of uh, English viewers on our channel. So uh, explain to us yeah. what all these numbers mean. This, no, this is just a, a simple uh, a, a demo of what I've just trying to say. So it's not really, um, you know, if, uh, if uh, uh, it's just a demo. So basically, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, the players in the supply chain, they can all register it uh, onto the platform that uh, we have been creating. And then they can see all the details and uh, uh, they can see all the, all the details and, uh, uh, and the information and contract, contracts. So, um, so basically it's, it's, a, it's, it's the demo of our platform. Right. Yeah, so we can just uh, go on to the okay, next let's one. Let's go to the next slide. So the next slide is basically uh, the you know the our office. We have been uh, uh, creating three uh, uh, working location in different uh, in three different cities, and uh, having four thousand square meters, and over one one hundred staff to be expanded to five hundred uh, staff because there's a lot of. Uh, manpower is needed to be able to bring all the small business onto our uh, platform. Okay, I guess this is the last slide that I'm presenting. Great, thank you so much uh, for the information about your company. Well, let's go straight to giveaway number two. It's time for exciting airdrop again, where up to 300,000 YCC are up for grab. So the first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space and the correct answer. Guys, make sure that you have the format right, because I'm seeing a lot of correct answers, but wrong formats, and they will be disqualified. So if you have the correct format and the correct answer, you will share the prize of the airdrop together with other award segments. The airdrop, the airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed onto Hadax for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. All right, Jackie, our audience is ready for question number two. Okay, question number two is a little bit tricky. Um, uh, so the question will be, uh, since when did Yuan Chen team begin blockchain industry? So I remember I saying, uh, saying the, the, the number, but not the exact year, so it will be a little bit tricky. So what year did Yuan Chain begin blockchain technology? Yes. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of correct answers here. Great, Great. feedback from the audience. And good formatting too. <laughs> okay. And uh, Jackie, is the year 2013 correct? Yes, absolutely. Great, Since good job from our audience. Very attentive, they are listening to you tonight. Okay, Jackie, so what makes your chain different from the existing public chains? And what are the main technological advantages? Yes, uh, so actually I've, uh, I've uh, covered this point. So um, yeah, so basically uh, we are doing the self-development -develop for our public chain because we think it's essential uh, for the for the SMEs that we're trying to help. Um, so the main technology advantages that we have is uh, we have a stable uh, a platform and it's sufficient, uh, it has sufficient performance and it is, it is easy to use. And the most important, it has uh, commercial applications. Great, so can you please go over the advantages of using uh, your kind of platform? So, so uh, okay, sure. Um, so for the um, for the users, usually at a corporate level, for them to to be able to join our uh, blockchain network, they will be having uh, uh, advantages of uh, reducing the cost of uh, of their funding, reduce the transaction uh, cost of their funding processing. So. That's probably the, the main advantage 
for to benefit the users of our pl uh, blockchain uh, platform. Okay, great. Well, let's move on to giveaway number three. It's time for the airdrop again. The first time to answer in the correct format, which is UID space in the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop, which is a total of 300,000 YCC together with the other award segments. The airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed onto HADX for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. Okay, Jackie, let's ask the audience another question. Okay, uh, question number three. Uh, how many uh, staff does Yuan Chen have? Yuan Chen team has, has uh, is it over 50 or is it over 100? So it's uh, 50 or 100. So if you guys think it's over 50, just put in there 50 plus. If you think it's over 100, put in there 100 plus. Let's see what our audience has to say. All right, Jackie, I think I'm seeing a lot of right answers over here. Great yeah. job, you guys. Keep those answers coming. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to say the answer for this one because um, I may have said it too early last time. I'm going to give a chance for some people to write it up. But uh, Jackie, sure. if you can see the comments there, you'll see the right one. <laughs> yes. OK. So also, Jackie, can you please share with us uh, what competitive, competitive advantages your team of 100 plus has to succeed in this industry? So uh, we have already uh, been doing research and uh, development for uh, in the blockchain taken uh, blockchain industry for four years, and uh, uh, and the, the 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 last two years we have been focusing on how to uh, make the blockchain business uh, viable. So I think that's one of the uh, uh, the one of the key things that we wanted to do uh, to make blockchain possible in the business scenario because a lot of uh, blockchain in, uh, you know companies they are not able to do those things so um, yeah so uh, with that experience I think uh, we have accumulated this experience over the years over the last two years um, and uh, we have been successfully uh, cooperated with uh, eight uh, uh, top 500 uh, companies in the world and this has been a great asset for our you know, team. And we are very confident uh, going forward with uh, more to come and helping the SMEs. That's great. I mean, you have a large team with uh, great experience, especially working with the uh, Fortune 500 companies. Um, I'm sure that brings a lot to the table. Yes. Well, uh, let's move on to giveaway number four. Here's what you guys have been waiting for. It's time for the airdrop. We will be distributing a total of 200,000 YCC. The first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space and the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop together with other award segments. The airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed onto HADX for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. Okay, Jackie, are you ready? Is the audience yes. ready? <laughs> Let's go for yes. another question. Okay, question number four, I guess. Uh, so, does Yuan Chen aim to solve uh, small and medium enterprises so, uh, to solve their uh, funding difficulties? Sorry, can you repeat that one more time? Yeah. Does Yuan Chen aim to solve uh, SME's funding difficulties? Yes or Does no? Does Yuan Chain help to solve SME's funding difficulties? All right. And the comments are blasting again. I definitely see the correct answer and a lot of correct formats. Keep those comments coming, you guys. Great job. And if you have any questions for Jackie, feel free to ask them in the comment <coughs> section as well. Let's get straight to giveaway number five. Now it's time for the next question for Yuan Chain. We will be distributing a total of 200,000 YCC. Please remember the correct format, which is UID space and the correct answer. And the prize will be shared along with the airdrop together with the other award segments. 
The airdrop will only happen after the project gets successfully, listing onto, successfully listed onto HADAX. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. Okay, Jackie, hit him with the next question. Okay, question number five. Um, does Yuan Chen realize the value uh, interconnection between public blockchain and permission blockchain? Sorry, does uh, Yuan does Chen? Yeah, does Yuan Chen realize uh, value interactions between public blockchain and permission uh, blockchain? So interaction between blockchain or uh, public public blockchain or uh, and uh, uh, permission blockchain? Yes or no? Public blockchain and permission blockchain. Yes. And, yep, the comments are coming. And I definitely see the correct answer there again. Great job, you guys. Jackie, are you able to see the comments from our audience? Yes. Great. You see the correct answer there? Yes. It's yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> Jackie, please share with us uh, Yuan Chain's development plans and your roadmap. Yeah, sure. Um, so our roadmap is like this. Um, last month, we have already uh, successfully launched our our token, which is YCC, and uh, uh, this month we will be having our wallet ready by the end of this month, and then in the uh, uh, August of this year we will have our uh, public chain ready to to be able to interact with uh, other permissioned chains we have already accumulated. Um, so that's our version 1.2. Oh, sorry, that's uh, our version 1.0. And then uh, uh, February next year, we will be able to uh, build a SaaS uh, framework to help more um, SMEs build their own blockchain uh, blockchain uh, projects. So a lot of projects going on. Great. So um, I, I saw a question from the audience uh, earlier. So when does your uh, white paper in English come out? Well, it's actually already ready and we haven't uh, uploaded. So um, we will publish our white paper as soon as YCC is listed uh, on HEDEX. Okay, great. So for those of you waiting for the white paper version in English, it'll be up as soon as YCC is listed on HADAX. Yes. Let's go straight to giveaway number six. We've come to our final question for Yuan Chain. Once again, the first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space in the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop amounting to a total of 300,000 YCC together with other award segments. The airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed onto HADAX for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. All right, Jackie, this is the last question. Give the audience a challenge. Well, actually, I prepared an easy one for the um but then because I think everybody's tired, uh, you know, from the difficult ones before. So this one will be pretty easy, actually. So what is the the the, the name ticker for Yuan Chen coin? I'm sorry. What is the name ticker? Uh, what is the name ticker for Yuan Chen Yuan Chen coin? Yep, I think I definitely see it in the comments. I see the correct answer. Great job, you guys. I'm loving all these comments. Keep them flowing. Wow. I mean, I, I can't keep up. It's a non-stop. Great job. And uh, uh, Jackie, I think it's YCC, correct? Yes. Good job, you guys. Well, thank you so much, Jackie, for sharing such valuable information and joining us on Hobie Talk. We wish you on chain all the best for their first phase of HADAX voting. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. All right, guys. Now, here's a special giveaway segment. Simply screenshot this live stream, tweet it, and tag Hobie Pro, Yuan Chain, and Neuromation with your remarks. For example, 
You can share what you learned through the live stream or share any feedback that you have. To qualify for the bonus airdrop, comment here with your UID space Twitter post URL. Top 20 most retweeted posts by the next day 12 noon will share 5,000 NTK tokens and 300,000 YCC tokens. Now that is a lot of tokens to be won. Here are more details of the YCC airdrop. The airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed onto Hadex for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. Share it now and be amongst the first selected few. Let's move straight into Neuromation. Now this is a very interesting one. It's time for a second Hadax project feature and it is great to have Maxim Prazilov, CEO of Neuromation NTK, with us here at Hobie Talk. Neuromation aims to optimize AI by utilizing blockchain technology. Let us hear it straight from the Neuromation. Director, please connect us to Mr. Maxim. Hi, good evening, Maxime. Are, can you hear me okay? So, seems like I am unable to hear you. Okay, just a second while we fix uh, this uh, technical glitch. Uh, we are unable, unable to hear you right now, Mr. Maxime. So just give it a second while we, um, while we fix these mics. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we can uh, talk in sign language. <laughs> you can wave hello to, uh, to our, um, our viewers. All right. Well, uh, just a moment while we uh, get Neuromation on, but I'd like to see what uh, the audience thinks about uh, YCC, uh, uh, Yuan Chain, uh, that we just went over. Uh, let's see your comments on the um, comment section here, and I'll be happy to answer any questions or read aloud your comments um, live right now. Uh, so someone asks, uh, Nikki, which country are you from? So if you can't tell from my kind of mixed up accent, I am from the U.S., Texas particularly. But I've been living in Singapore for seven years, so my accent has kind of dimmed down a bit. Uh, someone is asking if I can speak Chinese. Yi uh, Tian Tian, if that's correct. <laughs> uh, let's see what else... Uh, Someone is asking when uh, Nikki Chain is out, and there's no such thing as Nikki Chain, but uh, thank you for rooting for me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, will Hobie only accept the first 10 uh, answers? Yes, as long as they are answered correctly. If your answers have the wrong format, then they will be disqualified. Uh, okay, someone is asking if I can speak Singlish. No la. Okay, so uh, my journey in crypto, I started last year uh, as a presenter. I was just simply reading off a teleprompter and I was so curious about what I was reading that it really uh, sparked my interest. I went home and I googled what is a cryptocurrency. I learned so much, started investing and now it's been amazing. All right guys, I think we have Mr. Maxime back online. Hello so, Nikki. Hi Maxime, I can finally hear you. Yeah, yeah. So welcome to Hobby Talk. We are very pleased to have you here. Please uh, tell us more about yourself. Introduce yourself to our audience. Uh, my name is Maxim Brasolov. Uh, I am CEO of uh, Neuromation. It's a fast-growing uh, company, uh, which, provide, uh, which provides uh, uh, one of the major and resolving one of the major problem in uh, AI industry. Uh, we are democratizing uh, the AI 
and creating very affordable framework with user-friendly interface to everybody who wants to create, train, and deploy your own neural network. Definitely, we open AI for small and medium enterprises. What exactly is a neural network? So the neural network, uh, uh, it's computer uh, machine learning algorithm, which uh, uh, can uh, um, repeat uh, actions. It's like a human. It's intellectual and expert system uh, who can provide uh, different uh, type of uh, task, very complicated task, uh, uh, like a human being. Uh, but definitely neural network uh, is not like artificial intelligence, because now we have artificial, but we have no intelligence. Um, uh, artificial intelligence doesn't exist. Uh, we have a very smart uh, a robot, but not, it's not uh, equal uh, to the human. So it helps, it's like uh, highly developed uh, uh, software, uh, which can help uh, to the human, uh, uh, which can assist, uh, which can find uh, something uh, what uh, human uh, can't uh, find or can't recognize, for example. Wow, it's amazing how blockchain is coming in within so many different industries. Uh, so, just curious, what came first for you, blockchain or uh, this uh, neuro? Uh, I'm sorry, what is the industry called? Neural, neural uh, would you say? Uh, I'm sorry. Neural networks. Neural networks. So what came first, blockchain technology or neural networks for you? Well, the beginning, uh, we are an uh, AI developer. So uh, we find out uh, last year that uh, uh, blockchain can help us to resolve one of the major bottleneck of the AI industry. It's very expensive computing power. Now, so blockchain creates massive amount of uh, uh, computing power in private hands. And now, for example, cryptocurrency miners, they get less than uh, big services like uh, Amazon or Google take from the uh, scientists for training neural network. So it's comparing the price. It's di the difference about three, four, uh, five times. And it's very important for us to attract blockchain uh, for AI development. So it's only the way to spread AI technologies all over the world because neural network as a blockchain algorithm needs a lot of computing power. In our case, we create two different novels in uh, what we are, we are doing in our project. First, this is synthetic data, and I explain a little bit more about synthetic data. This is like animation for training of AI. We create simulation environments like in cartoons, like 3D cartoons, and train our machine learning algorithm inside these simulation environments. So this needs a lot of computing power. And we take this computing power from the blockchain community. And we believe that distributed AI is the next level of blockchain evolution. That's really amazing. I mean, uh, just uh, every day I'm learning something new about how blockchain technology can be used in, in, in the world. And personally, coming from a six-year science background, I find this very interesting. You know, th this sounds like a game changer. So let's go straight to giveaway number one. Here's what the audience has been waiting for. It's time for our first Q&A session for the airdrop we will be distributing a total of 5,000 NTK. The first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space and the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop together with other award segments. The airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed onto Hadax for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. Okay, Maxime, I think we are ready for question number one. Yeah. So the first question to the community, what is the main problem of uh, artificial intelligence? What is the main problem of artificial intelligence? I think I know this one. I thought it was a tough question, but you did mention it as soon as you got on the talk. So I already did. and. Uh, 
We are waiting. We are waiting. I think I think I see the right answer. Well, I, I yeah. see the answer that I was thinking, at least. Mm. Uh, do you see the answers, Maxime? Yes, yes. And please tell the audience what the right answer is. Expensive computing power for AI training and supporting AI algorithm. Awesome. Good job to the audience. They've been listening to you. All right, so yeah. um, Mr. Community. Maxime, could you share with us more on Neuromation and how it will disrupt the AI industry? Of course. So. Uh, from the it, the main problem, uh, definitely, it's a uh, uh, expensive computing power. But the data, the data, it's uh, one of the major problem and one of the major bottleneck in AI industry. To train neural network, you can show to the machine learning algorithm a lot of examples, labeling examples, examples with uh, uh, metadata, which is describing what, for example, on photo. You can make a bounding box around every object on the photo, and this is a definitely a very hard and uh, hand work. And uh, uh, you need thousands uh, and millions of examples to train neural network, for example, um, uh, to uh, differentiate uh, different cars on uh, or different uh, uh, dogs or different mobile phones on different clothes. And you have to uh, uh, to train neural network on these uh, uh, labeling examples. So we find the method. Uh, when I produce uh, my uh, animation movie, we, I, uh, I found the idea that we can create 3D digital copies of these objects and put it in the training data sets. So, and we don't need to make in hand uh, uh, labeling of the photos because we can create synthetic photos or synthetic videos. Uh, we can create 3D uh, animation environments and train machine learning algorithm inside. So this is the second uh, big problem of uh, AI, which is successfully uh, um, resolved by our team. So uh, and uh, this is absolutely a disruptive method uh, to create uh, a huge amount, unlimited amount of the data for different segments of uh, neural network, for um, drone and robotics and uh, uh, till um, biomedical research. Okay, wow. I, I have to breathe all of that in. So let me get this straight. So you have uh, this current problem with the uh, data. Can you just uh, specify what kind of problems are we facing right now with, uh, with data and artificial intelligence? So to train a machine learning algorithm, you have to show uh, to artificial intelligence what to do. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, like uh, like child, yes, like you you uh, you teaching your child, mm -hmm. you you show this is this is a cup, this is a phone, this is a key, and uh, you have to show and explain. Right. This is a training process. So in artificial intelligence uh, technology, you have to show, for example, this key and make a bounding box around these objects on the photo and uh, explain this is a key. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so if you have a, a million photos, you have to make a bounding box around every object on the photo. It's a uh, hand labeling. It's called hand labeling. And big services like uh, uh, Amazon Mechanical Turks um, take about uh, um, 20 cents per photo to do that. Right. If you need, for example, to train a huge amount of data, uh, millions, you have to spend uh, 100 million dollars uh, only for data. That's why uh, um, we have uh, uh, this sentence that data is new oil. We create synthetic data which is uh, probably uh, looks like synthetic oil in uh, our artificial intelligence as well. I see. So um, why, I mean, you just answered to us the problems that blockchain technology is using, but when did this idea come to you to use blockchain technology? And were you, were you the first one to come up with this idea or have there been similar companies to do this? Uh, definitely, we are one of the first uh, company who use synthetic data for deep learning application. You can find out it's even uh, uh, through Wikipedia because uh, 
uh, there are few articles, scientific uh, uh, papers describing the model of synthetic data. So we are uh, definitely one of the first company who use it in uh, uh, our uh, solutions. But uh, blockchain and distributed computing power, it's, uh, there are few companies who use distributed computing power for um, uh, useful computing. Uh, what we doing now, we create distributed AI training using blockchain technologies because we have a thousand computing nodes which is belonged to miners, to private uh, uh, owners, all over the world. And without blockchain, it's absolutely impossible to make in contracts in uh, um, 100 jurisdictions and, for example, to switch on or switch off the computational uh, node for one hour or two. It's impossible um, using traditional methods uh, of the contracting and accounting. So, using blockchain and smart contracts, we can use this distributed power for useful computing, not only for supporting abstract uh, uh, algorithms in blockchain. Okay, great. Well, let's move on to giveaway number two. It's time for our exciting airdrop segment again, where 5,000 NTK tokens are up for grab. The first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space in the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop together with other award segments. The airdrop will happen after the project gets successfully listed onto Hadax for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. All right, Maxime, our audience is ready for the next question. So the next question, uh, when did Neuromation launch its platform? Where did Neuromation launch its platform? Where or when? When. All right, I think I'm seeing the right answers from our yes. audience. Yes, I see the right answers. It looks like it is 2017. Is that correct, Maxime? Uh, definitely, uh, I see a few uh, uh, answers. So we launched our platform on 15th of February this year, 2018. Oh, so 2017 is not the right answer. No, 2017 is not the right answer because uh, we just uh, power on our platform and open it in demo mode for everybody uh, a few days ago on 15th of February. I wonder why the audience thinks it was 2017. I think that's uh, only because uh, we uh, use the platform uh, in inner mode so, uh, for our purposes, but we open it for the community definitely uh, uh, on 15th of February. Smart way to phrase the question. <laughs> That's definitely just when you think the audience is listening, they're not listening enough. <laughs> you caught me there too. So, uh, Mr. Maxime, could you also share with us what competitive advantages your team has to succeed in this industry? So, uh, the main competitors, so definitely we don't have competitors in synthetic data because we are uh, on the, so it's very early days and we just uh, started. Uh, um, you can find, for example, um, only one article on, on Wikipedia and uh, uh, some notes uh, about synthetic data and only one link on our company. But we have a lot of uh, competitors in uh, cloud-based services like uh, um, uh, uh, Amazon AWS cloud services, like uh, also um, uh, TensorFlow, uh, like uh, uh, different cloud services who used to uh, machine uh, learning, uh, um, uh, computing, uh, for, uh, computing power for machine learning. Uh, but definitely we create a distributed system which is powered on um, computational nodes of the miners based on GPU. Uh, uh, we don't use uh, yet. ASIC computers, we use only GPU, which is based on uh, video cards or professional like uh, P P100. And uh, we use this GPU for distributed computing power. Now, I, I suppose uh, it, you can count it like Uber, uh, Uber like, uh, uh, but for computing power. Because we understand that it's big data centers like Microsoft Azure or uh, AWS or Google Cloud, uh, they provide these services but it's still expensive for 
uh, uh, small and medium enterprises to do that. We provide with uh, very affordable distributed computing power, which we take from the miners. And the community helps community. And blockchain community helps to the AI community to resolve the one of the major prob uh, problem of AI. Wow, so it looks like your team is very advanced in the artificial uh, intelligence uh, sector. Yeah, yes, correct. We have a lot of uh, uh, PhDs in our team and we hiring constantly and uh, 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 we create uh, uh, different offices in uh, uh, different countries. We have our offices in uh, Tallinn, in St. Petersburg, in Kiev, in Tel Aviv, uh, in San Francisco and uh, we hire a uh, very experienced uh, uh, scientist uh, to uh, solve a very specific problem of uh, data parallelism and the model parallelism, which is spread the AI technologies all over the world. And uh, definitely there are uh, some untrivial tasks, which is take time to, uh, to find a solution, but we are on the right way and we see the light. That's great, I'm glad to hear that. Let's go to giveaway number three. So now for question three for Neuromation. We'll be giving away a total of 5,000 NTK. The first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space and the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop together with the other award segments. All right, Maxime, let's go on to the next question. It's a very simple question uh, for somebody who uh, just uh, follow me. Uh, how the deep learning algorithms are training on uh, the platform, on our platform. How are different algorithms so, trading on your platform? Yes, exactly. All right, let's see what our audience has to say. This is actually uh, a tough one. I I'm trying to think as well. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I think yeah. I saw the correct answer. It yes, I see the correct answers. It makes sense yeah. now. So, of course, of course, the main uh, so the, the main solution of what we have, uh, we train computer uh, machine learning algorithm with synthetic data. So it's one of the great novel what we have for the AI community. Great. So the correct answer was synthetic data. Good job, guys. I'm seeing a lot of comments rolling in. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about community response. Yes, it means, for sure. Uh, yes, it means uh, we have a great support for the community and we appreciate it. Yes, and, and that they're definitely being attentive to what you're saying and there will be some people to win attractive prizes tonight. Exactly. All right, so uh, Mr. Maxime, can you please share with us Neuromation's development plans and roadmap? Yes, sure. So, um, we have, um, mm, mm, so we raised uh, uh, now enough funds to uh, develop uh, uh, our laboratories and our platform. So we open our platform for, uh, for the miners when our computing uh, node, computational node will be ready and open uh, for, um, for the private miners. Uh, now uh, in two months, uh, uh, we, uh, we just working with uh, some um, uh, uh, big uh, mining pools uh, because we're testing uh, our system and testing our platform. We will provide and open uh, our platform for the miners. This year, I think it, it will be on our third quarter. And uh, now we uh, just collect uh, uh, all requests from the miners' side. Um, if you have, for example, a couple of farms, uh, you will be available uh, to, uh, to sell your capacity on our platform, uh, I think that's in a uh, third quarter. Now we're working with um, some accredited uh, uh, mining pools uh, like um, Gigawatt, uh, uh, like uh, um, Diesel Hash, like uh, um, uh, um, Vatum. So in different uh, types of uh, uh, pools who are working on and who can provide a big uh, uh, um, capacity for our purposes. Uh, in, uh, in search quarter, we open it to the miners. Now we're developing some computer, uh, 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 computer algorithm, machine learning algorithm, which is, will be open on our platform soon. So uh, we provide some uh, image processing algorithm like enhancers, 
uh, with uh, let's enhance uh, dot io uh, also we provide the accounting and statistic uh, um, uh, algorithm which is gender and age detection using uh, deep learning also we provide uh, some algorithms uh, um, for retail uh, with our partner uh, also hybrid platform uh, it will be uh, this uh, uh, this quarter as well so uh, we open this algorithm for small and medium enterprises on our platform. At the same time, uh, on the next quarter, uh, beginning from the April, uh, we open a new office in uh, uh, Asia, uh, hope it will be Singapore, and uh, uh, to provide a very interesting um, uh, algorithm to, which is called the Peaks Big Brother. Uh, we help uh, to the uh, uh, agriculture industry to improve the quality of uh, their production uh, using a uh, machine learning algorithm. Also, um, next uh, uh, next month, we establish and open the laboratory, uh, its biomedical laboratory, which is create uh, health and uh, um, medical assistant, uh, your personal medical assistant, and it's very exciting project. And uh, uh, so we believe that it's one of the um, one of the first step to create universal uh, AI for everybody from the childhood uh, to, to the aged to help yourself to improve your lifestyle, to improve your health, and to improve your physical condition. Wow, so, Maxime, you have so much in the next in just this quarter from what you've uh, explained to us. Yes, so um, because we now hiring constantly and uh, we have uh, two uh, major parts in uh, our businesses, uh, in our business. First, it's a platform. The platform is universal infrastructure for um, different uh, uh, players in AI industry who can create a machine learning algorithm, who can create synthetic data and uh, this is a big, big marketplace for AI industry. Uh, from the second uh, and second part of our business it labs laboratories we establish we definitely r and d company and we invest our um, solutions our r and d in different segments because we cannot develop uh, so fast without support of our partners in different sectors and we found the partners with the market and uh, we are open for cooperation and our uh, and establishing labs uh, together with the partners uh, and provide our technology to the ready markets and so this is expansion model what we have uh, supporting uh, from the community side from, uh, and creating partnership in different sectors very very fast uh, so this business model it's like uh, our R&D investment company we invest our solutions using our infrastructure in different sectors in order to democratize AI, first for small and medium enterprises. Great. Also, Maxime, just just a question that I, I saw on your website earlier, and also uh, there there were a few comments from our audience asking where they can see your website and find your information. To find information on any uh, companies that we have talked about, you can go onto Hadax, uh, the platform, and click on the companies that are listed there, and you'll find all the information about each company. Uh, that's where I read about Neuromation, and uh, that's what I wanted to ask was, how come your company uses proof of work instead of proof of stake? Well, uh, we use in blockchain technologies, and uh, uh, but uh, we can count that useful computing it's uh, uh, another. So it, it, there are a lot of difference between uh, uh, traditional uh, classical blockchain and useful computing. So we don't need consensus to validate the data. It's very important to understand that uh, uh, there are a lot of and a huge uh, uh, energy we spend for proof of work to, uh, 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 to, to support the consensus mechanism. So we don't need it in our uh, blockchain. That's why we use, for the beginning, we use Ethereum blockchain to power on um, our technology. At the end, during this year, we will develop uh, uh, our own blockchain. Uh, so now we, we have uh, um, different uh, uh, variants with our blockchain, our own blockchain development. 
and uh, so it's probably um, one of one of the variants uh, will be fork uh, of the Ethereum blockchain and uh, remove proof of uh, work from the Ethereum and create our own uh, distributed uh, uh, blockchain uh, auction based on um, uh, useful computing nodes. One comment here from uh, the uh, comment section from Jerry Chi. What are your competitors? I think I uh, spoke to you about that earlier. Can you yeah, please? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as I, as I told you before, uh, there are a lot of. Uh, so the, our uh, major idea: how to spread AI. You can um, look. Uh, it's like 20 years ago with the internet, with the dot-com uh, uh, era. So uh, there are uh, to create websites uh, 20 years ago was very very expensive and uh, web designers uh, they were like rock stars and uh, so you can spend a hundred thousand dollars for one website now you can go for example to the uh, public services like um, vix.com for example and double click and you have a, a perfect website without uh, any payment so this is the same situation we are uh, really early days for uh, um, deep learning uh, solutions, uh, which is, can be affordable for um, for everybody who wants to create your own neural network. For example, to train your drone to walk with your dog. Uh, so you know, this is open now, and uh, only because the huge computing power now in private hands. So it's fantastic situation, and this is window of opportunity for everybody who wants to develop AI solutions. Our competitors, the main competitors, it's traditional big cloud services, uh, which is uh, use uh, uh, big data centers. It's like um, AWS or like um, uh, Azure or like uh, Google Cloud. So it's expensive. It's very expensive because my company, for the beginning, we spent uh, a huge amount uh, uh, on uh, computing power renting in from AWS and uh, Microsoft Azure. So it, it was very expensive for us for small um, uh, for small laboratory, but definitely we get this power which is um, five uh, uh, to seven times uh, cheaper from the miners, and the, it's still profitable for the miners. It's more profitable than uh, any cryptocurrency mining. That's the point. Now we have, from one point of view, we have a growing uh, industry of AI. From second. Uh, we have a grow industry of blockchain and so we have a huge computing power in private hands. We can breach the gap and we're doing, we do, doing uh, uh, that now. So we create the bridge between different communities and provide the affordable computing power uh, to the people who want to deploy and train uh, uh, their own neural networks. Thank you, Maxime. Let's just go for one last question from the audience. Uh, let's make this one quick. Uh, Dimitri asked, um, will you be able uh, to make some kind of mining app like NiceHash, where you will pay miners for providing computational power? Yes, exactly. So uh, it's, it's a very good question. Dimitri, thank you. And uh, definitely we are working on uh, because uh, our container our universal, we call it hybrid mining container, uh, uh, can be deployed on your computational node. And when the useful computing tasks come, uh, your node just uh, switch off the regular uh, cryptocurrency mining and uh, uh, switch uh, switch uh, on to uh, uh, computing the useful computing task. Uh, when the computing uh, uh, useful computing task ends, it switch uh, on to the uh, cryptocurrency. So it's hybrid node what we are developing now, and uh, you're absolutely right. So it's very logical way to create the universal node and to put your node in uh, work uh, constantly, uh, permanently work and permanently uh, uh, bring uh, the value and uh, uh, rewards uh, from the different type of mining. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Mr. Maxim, for sharing all this information. Let's now move to the last three questions for the giveaway for NTK. Giveaway number four. 
Moving on to the question number four from Neuromation Airdrop. Now, for those of you who are just joining us, just to let you know that the first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space and the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop together with the other segments. The airdrop will only happen after the project successfully gets listed onto HADX for trading, and if the project is not successfully listed, then there will be no airdrop. All right, Maxime, what is your next question to our audience? So it's very often a uh, uh, question, it's a very popular question in our community. Um, what the price of NTK uh, during public sale? What was the price of Naira token uh, during the public sale? All right, let's see what our audience has to say. What was the price of Nero token during the public sale? Hey, I think I see the correct answer. Yes, yes, I see the correct answer. Maxime, our audience is quick. I don't know how they type so fast. It's I like, mean, no, so <laughs> I want right to. away. <laughs> Great, but it's good to see yes, audience guys, interaction so like that. From your side, so thank you very much. It's great. Yes, thank you, yeah. everybody, for uh, paying attention. Let's yeah, yeah, go yeah. on to giveaway number five. Maxime, what's your next question? And our next question, so the price of uh, NTK was uh, 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 1,000 part of Ether. So, and uh, the question number five, how much money did Neuromation raise during public sale? It's definitely a very, very hard question because the volatility of uh, uh, cryptocurrency is uh, too high. But how much money did Neuromation raise during the public sale? How much money did Neuromation raise during the public sale? You like asking our audience some uh, tricky questions, so careful with your answers. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the audience has to say. And Maxime, I'll be honest with you, I don't know the answer of this one either. So when you see the correct answer, please enlighten us. Okay. Is it 70 million? <laughs> Definitely, you know, uh, so the correct answer on the, uh, uh, at the end of uh, our public sale, uh, it was uh, 50 million, uh, uh, 50 million uh, dollars. So it's, uh, it was 50 million. But uh, uh, counting the price of Ether, mm, uh, if we count in highest level of the price uh, 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 next period, it's about 70. But definitely we count in at the end of our public sale at the date because we closed our public sale in eight hours and we raised uh, uh, 50 millions. Oh, that's so tricky. Okay, so the correct answer is 50 million. Exactly. So those who answered 70 million, that would be the price to date. But at the time it was 50 million. Yes, so uh, uh, we, we, we're glad and appreciate to the community uh, uh, about this uh, high level of uh, uh, counting, but definitely believe uh, and uh, believe in a very volatility uh, cryptocurrency world. Great. Let's move on to giveaway number six. Be careful, audience. We have one uh, tricky, tricky, uh, we have a tricky audience here. Okay, the question number six, what is the uh, two key features of the Neuromation platform? What is the two novels what we provide with the community? Can you repeat that please? What is the two key features of the Neuromation platform? All right, what are the two key features of the Neuromation platform? Yes, correct. That is the question. Let's see what our audience has to say. Let us know, Maxime, when you see the correct answer. Yes, I see the correct action. The and first one, MAPOS uh, uh, 777. Yes, the correct uh, question is the synthetic data and distributed computing power. So it's two major novel what we have in our platform. Great. Great community. 
And now we are on to our final question of Neuromation, where we will be giving away a total of 5,000 NTK. Guys, please remember that the first 10 to answer in the correct format, which is UID space and the correct answer, will share the prize of the airdrop together. The airdrop only happens after the project successfully gets listed onto Hadax for trading. And if the project is not successfully listed, there will be no airdrop. All right, Maxime, tricky Maxime, hit the audience with your next tricky question. So the question number seven. So as you know, we are a award uh, award winning uh, platform. And which conference did Neuromation won the first place? Which conference did Neuromation won the first place? Okay. So at which audience? Uh, sorry, at which conference did Neuromation win first place? Yes. Let's see if our audience knows this, because you did not mention this one. Yes, but uh, uh, the audience knows it very well, because uh, somebody uh, who just uh, check our website can find the question. We'll see yes, it there. Correct. yes, correct. It was D10E conference in Davos. In Davos, that's in Davos. right. I saw that there too. And, you know, congratulations once again on that. Yeah, it was a uh, uh, very exciting uh, award. So, by the way, it was uh, uh, the greatest uh, 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 prize uh, in the history of uh, 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 blockchain conference. It uh, was $250,000. Uh, wow. uh, dollars. And uh, that wasn't your first prize. I know you won, the Neuromation won a few prizes before that as well. Exactly. So, but uh, the, first, uh, the first place we get uh, in Davos. So uh, the first place and the biggest uh, uh, prize fund we, uh, uh, we raised there. That's great. Well, congratulations once again. And thank you, Mr. Maxime, for joining us at Hobie Talk and sharing about Neuromation. Thank you very much, Nikki. Have uh, a good evening. Yes, very interesting conversation. And thanks uh, to the community for the great support. Voting for us. All right. Well, all the best. Thank you. Okay, guys, now here's a special giveaway segment. Simply screenshot this live stream, tweet it, and tag at HobiePro, Yuan Chain, and Neuromation with your remarks. For example, you can share what you've learned through the live stream or share any feedback you have. To qualify for the bonus airdrop, come in here with your UID space, Twitter post URL, and the top 20 most retweeted posts by the next day, 12 noon. We'll share 5,000 NTK tokens and up to 300,000 YCC tokens. Now that is a lot of tokens, you guys. Here are more details. Take a look at the poster on the screen. The airdrop will happen after the project successfully gets listed onto Hadax for trading. If the project is not successfully listed, there will be no airdrop. Share it now and be amongst the first selected few. Here's a little disclaimer for you guys. There are risks involved and users are advised to exercise caution in trading. When in doubt to the ac actions you should take, please consult your solicitors or other professional advisors. And that is all from us today. Thank you so much for joining us on Hobie Talk. If you want to find out more or have any questions, you can find us on Telegram, which is uh, t.me slash Hobie Pro Official, Twitter at Hobie Pro, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Catch us live next episode tomorrow, 25th February at 12 o'clock Singapore time, where we will be introducing ProChain and BitClave, airdropping 80,000 PRA and 200,000 CAT tokens. We apologize for those who've submitted the wrong formats as they will be disqualified. Thank you for joining us on Hobie Talk Show, the number one talk show that gives you insights in the world of blockchain. Catch us at 12 p.m. tomorrow, not 8 p.m. And we'll be featuring ProChain and BitClave. See you tomorrow, guys.